Ye deny what no man or jinn before them has touched. Then which of the favours of your Lord will ye deny? Allah Almighty says in Surah Waqiyah, And there will be companions with beautiful, big and lustrous eyes, like unto pearls well guarded. Allah Almighty says in Surah Safat, And besides them will be chaste women, restraining their glances, with big eyes of wonder and beauty, as if they were delicate eggs, closely guarded, particular supplication of maidens and sympathy with husbands. That the merciful messenger said, Verily, right from the beginning of the year till the end, heaven is decorated to greet the mouth of Ramadan. On the first day of Ramadan, the leaves of the heaven fan the maidens, and under its spell they supplicate, O Lord, appoint for us such husbands from your devotees, who cool down my eyes and theirs from us. If any woman troubles her husband in the world, his wife from among the maidens of heaven says, Woe to you, don't trouble him, for he is your temporary guest, and verily soon he would come back to me. Among the maidens of heaven, the above two hadith denote the maidens are also present like other heavenly beings. Reports from Hadrat, the mother of the believers, Targhib and Wal Tahib that she once submitted to the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, O Prophet of Allah, who will be better in paradise, worldly believing woman or the beautiful heavenly maidens? The Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, The worldly Believing woman will be as better than the heavenly maiden, as the upper cloth of a quilt is better than the undercloth of it. Why so, O Prophet? It is because the believing woman in the well would offer salat and observe, observe fast and pray to Allah. The exalted, the Prophet, replied, 